Oh, it's over the math. Easy solution. Here we're going to discuss infinite limits, infinity limits, and look at horizontal and vertical asymptotes. We'll explain what these are and uh, do some examples and some uh, pretty useful tricks that I've learned over the years on solving limits. So, but let's start off with uh, vertical asymptotes. Okay, so these are basically defined as if you have, let's say, limit as x approaches a and then this of f of x is a function equals to infinity or plus or minus infinity it could be either one and uh, to illustrate this this is just pretty straightforward just x is y so you have a function like let's say something like this where it, this never reaches it so this is let's say this is a and this is the x equals a line so this is the asymptote, if it never reaches it, this is f of x. So this is the asymptote. Yes, yeah, so that's the asymptote line here. So it never reaches it, and but it, it's at infinity, it, it's getting closer and closer to it, but never reaches it. So you can see my limits videos to get better clarification. So now let's look at horizontal asymptotes. Now these ones are, ju they're just like the inverse of those, they're the opposite of that. So you'll have limit as x approaches plus or minus infinity of f of x now these will j will equal a, a, a limit or an l yeah equals something so it equals a, a a certain value so if you were to illustrate this let's draw this out x y so if you have something like this and then if let's say this graph goes like this this is f, f of x and it it's approaching a line a horizontal line so the other one's vertical is horizontal that's all it is so asymptote is it's again it's reaching it as you go to infinity this is infinity and then you'll have let's say this is l or y equals l or something like that yeah so the, the basically yeah, you have this horizontal line and it reaches it so that's that's it so let's uh, illustrate it by some examples here's an easy one Let's say you have um, y equals, let's say, 1 over x. Okay, so you have y equals 1 over x, and we want to get the, uh, get the asymptotes. Okay, so we see from here that if we put, let's say, 0, or at x equals 0, we get 1 divided by 0, and this is, it reaches infinity or undefined. So there's your asymptotes at 0. But if, if we have something like, let's say point zero 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 one, we get a large positive number. But if we have a negative point zero 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 one, we get a large negative number. So, and then also now if you were to put, let's say infinity here, let's say we were to put x is going to infinity, uh, again, this one is going to be 1 over infinity, and this approach is 0. But, uh, but again, it depends on the sign. If, if you put in, let's say, x is approaching negative infinity, then this would be 1 over negative infinity, and this would reach, yeah, this would, uh, this would also reach 0, actually, yeah. But it's, it's on the left side. So uh, if you were to draw this, let's draw this, y equals y x this one yeah so at at positive infinity we're going to zero and at at zero positive z like uh, from the right side this is from let's say the right side and this one is from the left side we're approaching from the left side Okay, and then this is how basically it would look like. So you have, if you draw this one here, so you kind of have, have it something like this, and the asymptotes here is going to be x equals 0, and here y equals 0 is the, this is the vertical asymptote. Vertical. And this one here, as it approaches 0, is just the y asymptote. So y equals 0 asymptote. This is the horizontal. Okay, so now let's look at some uh, pretty useful uh, examples that I'll show you some tricks we could do. So let's say if we have something, it looks complex. Let's say if we want to get the, the limit 
as x approaches infinity of, say this function, 3x squared minus x minus 2 over 5x squared minus or plus 4x plus 1. So now to get the limit of this one, here's, here's a trick you could do. Um, so let's say as you put larger and larger numbers, you see that basically the x squared, it, this stuff plays a bigger role because you're timesing it by itself. So what I mean here is, let's say we were to times the top and bottom by one over x squared. I'm not changing anything. I'm timesing by one over x squared because this is the highest power. It's the highest power. If it was x cubed, I'll times by one over x cubed. And so if we put this inside, this would be limit x approaches infinity and then this one will divide every single one out by it so so basically x squared over x squared minus x over x squared minus 2 over x squared this is 5x squared x squared minus plus 4x over x squared plus 1 over x squared okay so now the, the, these would cancel, this would cancel, cancel, this one of these cancels, one of these cancels, and then this left it off with that. So if we were to write this out, infinity, we're going to get 3 minus 1 over x minus 2 over x squared over 5 plus 4 over x plus 1 over x squared. So now if we were to put infinity here, we could just directly like put it in there. We know that 1 over infinity is 0. This would approach 0. This 2 over x squared infinity is going to be 0. Larger, 2 divided by large number is 0. So these ones just all go to 0. This whole thing, it, it goes to 0. 0 or 0. Okay. So we're just going to be left with 3 and 5. So the limit as uh, uh, we'll just put this entire thing in equals 3 over 5 or 0. 0.6 and then if we were to put in a calculator I'll show you to prove this yeah, so if we were to uh, yeah, just drag it in here we could either do two ways we can just you know I already wrote this down so 3 times a thousand um, this is basically that same equation or you could just so as you can see it's reaching 0. 0.6 we just make it bigger bigger yeah so it's reaching 0. 0.6 and that's what we had yeah. So it's reaching point six, and then if you were to graph this one out, we'll just graph it out. It'll just I'll just paste this one here. So yeah, basically you can just go to Google Calculator, type it in, enter. So three x squared plus that. Yeah. So basically there's there's how it kind of looks like. Yeah. So if we were just to adjust this, zoom zoom in here, so we could zoom in a bit more, or zoom out actually. We'll zoom in the yeah, as you can see, it's yeah, it's it's reaching point six here. So yeah, this is the graphing calculator. You could do that. Okay, now we'll get an even um, uh, some bit more complicated example. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, let's say if we have example, let's call this uh, three now. F of x equals two square root. Now this one's interesting. So let's go here. Two x squared plus one all over x minus five. Actually, yeah, three x minus five. So now we want to get the horizontal and vertical asymptote. Okay, so we want to get these. So the easy one is usually vertical in this case because we just look at well, we look for wherever there's a one over zero. So we see that if the denominator is zero, then it's going to be a vertical asymptote. So we'll just go set it to zero. So three x minus five is zero. Solve for x. We'll get x equals two. We'll re rearrange it. Five over three. So basically this, yeah, we have that. And this would just equal to 1.66, etc. Uh, this goes on forever. So yeah, we have the vert, this is the vertical. So that's vertical asymptote. Now to get the horizontal, uh, this one's a bit tricky. Now we gotta get to infinity again. So we gotta go limit as x approaches infinity of well, basically, whatever that was, 
2x squared minus 1 over 3x minus 5. Oh, this is a plus. So if we use my other trick now, we have to look at the highest um, power. So if we look at highest power. At highest. Now this one is tricky uh, because it, it looks like it's x squared. No, but it's actually, this is all square root, so we would just look at the x. Because um, x squared square root equals to x. This is a trick that I learned. So what you could do now is divide everything by, again, now we're going to divide everything by the highest power, 1 over x, 1 over x. So we divide it by that, and then if we simplify it, this one will be limit x of, this one's going to be 3, 3 over, this is x minus, x over x, this one's 5 over x. Now this one, this one's a bit tricky, you have this. Okay, so this one's a bit tricky, but because there's a square root in here, but what we could do here is, because we know that this thing's the same, so we're just going to go x squared times 2x squared plus 1. Oh, this is 1 over. Because we know that basically 1 over x squared square root equals 2, basically um, 1 over x squared, and this equals to 1 over x. So we have this. Uh, if you don't know what this, just let me know if you just don't understand this part. I can clarify that later. But yeah, so we got this, and then yeah, divided by this one. This cancels. We have three minus five over x. And now we can put this inside. These are the same stuff, so we could just make the whole square root uh, on the outside. So we'll get limit as x approaches infinity, and then put this on the outside, so we get. 1 over x squared times 2 over x plus 1 all over 3 minus 5 over x. If we keep simplifying this top part, we'll get limit x approach infinity of this uh, This one would be, yeah, so this top part, we'll just go top part will be 2x squared over x squared plus 1 over x squared. So we get something like that. And then if we put it in here, we simplify it, we'll get 2 plus 1 over x squared all over 3 minus 5 over x. Okay, so we got this. Let's just call this a 1. So now if we put infinity in here, we just, just look at it. All we do is this one's 1 over infinity is going to be approaching 0. This approaches 0. This approach is 0, so we're left with 2 over 3. So we're left with 2 over 3. But if we were, yeah, and if we were to put, okay, so now uh, if it was to, uh, if we were doing limit as x approaches negative infinity, uh, this trick what we have to realize is that at the top here, this is an odd, odd function. So if we put negative, a really large negative is going to be negative. So if we were to do this one, this one would actually get, if we go just dot, 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 or f of x, or whatnot, uh, this would just, this would be equal to negative root 2 over 3. And now we can put in the in, uh, graphing calculator. And now we'll just go here, we'll type in, as we put in there, let's just graph this out, 3x, this was a minus 5, I think. Whatever this was, yeah, minus 5, enter. So this is how it looks like. We gotta zoom out to see it better. Zoom out. Yeah, so this is how it uh, basically looks like. And um, if you were to zoom in, you'll see that this one is actually approaching. Where would this one be approaching? We'll zoom out. How far out does it go? Yeah, and it's getting closer to this value here, which is about 0.46, whatnot. We would actually take this. Let's go take this. Let's uh, type this out. If we were to go thousand, well, let's go negative a thousand. Negative ten thousand, and then we'll go negative ten thousand. One, two, three. 
and then this value yeah this one is 0.47 and whatnot and if we go here yeah so it's getting closer to this 0.47 if you if you see up top here right here so it's getting 0.47 and, and it's it's the same for uh, if you were to do the other one if you were to put in what was that yeah yeah if you were to put in positive one we'll just get it'll be just the opposite side here and this is a, this is just the same exact thing. It's a 0.47, but it's on it's on the positive as a negative. Well, yeah, that's all for today on uh, limits. And this is pretty pretty useful. Remember these tricks on uh, this because then then you could probably just look at it, and you'll know that these just all are just ignore this one five, and this is just gonna be two over three. Or screw two over three. Well, yeah. Hopefully, you learn what asymptotes are or horizontal, vertical. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution